And now to a career to remember. All month we've been taking a look back at the stories Mike Jacobs has covered in his 37 years here at today's TMJ4. One story brought Mike to a Wisconsin women's prison. The hell of prison is being separated from society. I don't care if you took us and um, locked us, crowded, jammed us into a barred cell, or if you took us and put us into rooms at the Hyatt, the effect is the same. You know, she cut her throat and she cut her wrist because she wanted to die because she felt like she didn't have anything left. I can't order pizza when I want it or look at TV and I see McDonald's or a Burger King, I want to go and get me something like that. I can't do those things. And all that was taken away from me. Everything is by the bell. When the bell rang, you jump. Some nights I'd be sleeping, I hear bells ringing, and I just automatically get up. I think we talked to at least one juvenile group a month. Well, I tell them that if they like to sit back and miss all the things that life has to offer them, then this is the place to come. Stay away from drugs, stay away from alcohol. Because nobody ever starts out saying, well, you know, wakes up one day and says, well, I'm going to be a drug addict. And before you know it, you're either dead or you're in here. And it's a hell of a price to pay. And no, no sex for over 10 years. <laughs> That's, we're laughing, but it's, it's not funny. <laughs> These children have to learn that what they do out there on the street is costing them dearly. It will cost them everything that life has to offer them. So you could come to the penitentiary and get an education. Why not get it while you're out there on the streets? And then you don't have to give up anything to get it. Both of my parents have died since I've been here. That was a horrifying experience. It's very difficult to be woke up in the middle of the night and have someone that you hardly know tell you that your mother or your father is dead. And these are all things you lose complete control of your life here. Complete control. Uh, the younger ones are preyed on when they get here. Of course, the guards watch for it, but it's just the idea. It's horrifying. And I, and I always tell them that if you would like um, a big, smelly, tattooed woman chasing you around for kisses, come on down. Keep doing what you're doing. 